Okay, so today what I'm going to do is show you guys how to do a elephant skin finish on your walls. These walls are for our dining room and kitchen. <laughs> There's a big mess going on right now because what we started to do was just spring clean and then we decided, hmm, why not? Let's go ahead and paint the dining room and kitchen. So I only have a little bit to do above the walls out here in the, or above the cabinets out here in the kitchen and um, just here by the door and a little bit below the cabinets and um, up here above. So, okay. And here's what it looks like. Kind of want to give you guys a before and after. So, and then we're going to do down the hallway too. What I did is I went and purchased um, a couple packs of just regular tissue paper. And these are the colors that I purchased here. The first one is Dynamo, this um, light orange one. And then we have Field Poppy and let's see what this one is. If I can read it, Lucky Penny. So, and I have a lot of other paints that, that, I, already, that I already had from um, different jobs. So I got two gallons of the Dynamo and then a quart each of the Lucky Penny and um, Field Poppy. And those are PPG paints. Okay, and then these are the paints that I've already had, and I'll just kind of show you. I might not use all of these, but these are paints that I think might go okay with what I'm what I'm going to do. It's going to be a, a burnt orange, kind of Tuscany style look, so that's always cool. And you can see um, the names of the colors up. I wrote them above. Some colors I, I made up a name because I couldn't find it anywhere on the can. And the ones I have crossed out are the ones I'm not using, like Hitching Post and uh, Cowboy Hat, I think it was. So, okay. Um, and I also have a stencil. I just This is just a plaid stencil. And you can see I, I wanted to get a circle one, but I'm kind of impatient and didn't want to wait for one to come in the mail. So... I'm just going to use this. It'll be okay. And we need some drywall compound for texture for the stencil. And I think that's about it. A couple brushes, you know, your regular painting supplies. So what I'm going to do while I'm off camera is, um, oh, and you're going to need some primer to put on the walls so you can adhere the tissue paper to it. Okay, and I'm going to just off camera kind of start that and I'll be right back. Thanks.